Nico. Nico is my diabetic alert dog, and he is a service dog. People ask, what does Nico do for you? Well, Nico, besides um, alerting me to a low, he also alerts me when I'm high. Now, he doesn't say, okay, I'm high, I'm going to alert you this way, and you're low, I'm going to alert you this way. He tells me that I'm out of sorts. It's up to me to take these alerts and test. Now, as a dad dog or a diabetic alert dog, Nico has the right to accompany me wherever I go. He's allowed into public places, the same as I am. Now, he's being trained in order to act appropriately. And, sorry, I'm just hitting the sun now. And as such, he's not going to start barking when he sees other dogs when he's working. During playtime, that's a complete different story. Now, a lot of times, people go online and they purchase vests. And these vests don't make a, your dog a service dog. Now, in British Columbia, you have to go through certification. Now, if your dog's being trained by a school who's a member of the international school, it's usually fairly simple. You submit a picture of yourself, and they get a card which allows access anywhere. If you don't have a dog and you want them to be accepted as a service dog they have to go through a testing process and I believe don't quote me that's through the Justice Institute so if you've trained your dog yourself to meet your needs and you feel it meets the criteria of a service dog, by all means, go ahead and go through the certification process. Nico was trained by the Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guide School. And I had to go to Oakville and go through three weeks of intensive training and you know it's not an easy task when you're with a dog guide training happens constantly it's not sort of like well here's a dog go home and do your best you have to be in constant contact with the school. The school wants to ensure that the dog is doing what it was intended to do. Nico and I went through this school and, you know, they kept saying, oh, well, they didn't want us to get involved in any sort of fundraising. And they didn't want us to do this because they wanted us to become a team. And, you know, I guess pretty much when you were young, you expected, oh, yes, I can do anything. Well, that was kind of our feeling when, you know, 
when I got home anyway. I don't know what, how Nico felt. But Nico and I, now, as a, when we got home, are completely different. Nico and I are a team. And I would say a pretty strong team. Nico has saved my life a number of times. Now, we have only been together for a year. So how long does it take to get a service dog? Well, Nico and I whole process was Nico was born on the 3rd of January 2014 and Nico went to live <coughs> with a foster family and they will train him just in basic dog hoods for a year and help him grow and and then after a year Nico goes back to the school and I guess I think it's about six months sorry a lot of people are just coming Nico is was trained on how to be a service dog. And we were matched up and I was invited to take part in a class. And I flew to Oakville and like I said, took three months of intensive training at which time we were matched. Now, for me to get a dog, it's a little bit more intense. It took roughly about two years to be placed. And then we had a meeting with a trainer from Dog Guides. At which time, after they took a look at your application and such, they decided whether you were suitable and did they have a dog. And if you are accepted, it's another wait and then you're invited to take a class. Now, just because you think that you deserve a service dog, the application includes doctors and a lot of other people. It's not just sort of, like I said before, here's a dog. But once you get a dog, you're responsible for daily feeding, and that includes buying the food, he needs playtime. It's not sort of like, oh, well, you know, here's a dog, but you, you don't have to do any attention to it. He needs interaction with other dogs. He needs to go to the vet. And you're responsible for the vet bills. You're responsible for any vaccines. So it's not all an easy way of having a dog and it's not a pet it's a service dog but yet Nico and I have a bond which I thought I'd never have so if you think that a service dog is right for you there are a few schools there's pads in BC, but PADS does not do as 
far as I know at this time, um, any diabetic alert dogs. I believe the only school in Canada that does diabetic alert dogs is the Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides. And it's a worthwhile, if you need a service animal, you should take a look at what all their programs are. And you should take a look at it, and if you feel you're in the need of a service animal, start the process. More information is available on, I said, the Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides website. We'll do more chats about having a service dog in the next couple of days. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.